Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking baseball headed out west where the Giants are hosting the Reds. We've got a promo code. The code is SAFE for 20% off the entire site of picksandparlays.net. We've got the Giants as home favorites here, minus 115. Total is seven and a half runs. Uh, we've got the Reds and the Giants both coming in with identical six and three records and both some electric arms on the mound. Luis Castillo going for the Reds. Uh, a righty with a 6.97 ERA. I know that doesn't sound good, uh, but over the years he's had some really good stuff. Uh, can strike out a lot of guys. Uh, and then Kevin Gosman, who uh, sneaky, really good strikeout pitcher, had better numbers than Blake Snell last season. Fun fact: uh, when it came to strikeouts per nine, uh, he has he has 11 strikeouts so far this season and a 1.32 ERA. We've got Kurt Alexander here to break these games down for us, or, or this game, excuse me. Kurt, initial <laughs> thoughts on Reds and Giants. Uh, well, I learned my lesson uh, taking a Giants game over in San Francisco. You know, the Colorado Rockies came to town, a hot-hitting team, and I just, you know, oh, I'm thinking first game, first game uh, at home, maybe we'll get some some sparks. You know, you, you, you might see the Giants offense uh, be able to put up some runs uh, to try to match the Rockies, and that wasn't it at all. Uh, you had a double no-no going through five, so... You know, that's kind of when you rip your over love ticket that. up. <laughs> you you got to love that. I got the over and, you know, everybody's pitching lights out. And it's like the fastest game ever, you know. Uh, they're already in the fifth inning, 10 minutes into the game. But, yeah, in this game right here, I'm looking at the this Reds team. You know, they started out hot, you know. And this is what I mean by not trying to fall into that trap. The Reds uh, versus the uh, St. Louis Cardinals uh, started off, scored 32 runs in, in three games. Then they followed that up against Pittsburgh scoring 30 runs in three games. So what's going to happen in Arizona? This hitter's park, yeah, nine runs in three games getting uh, shut out the last game. And now they're going to San Francisco, which is not a hitter's park. And this Giants team is pitching lights out, right? Like you said, Gossman. Uh, he, has, he hasn't figured into a decision yet this year. But uh, in the two games that he has pitched, both quality starts, uh, seven innings and 6.2 innings, only giving up a run in each. The bullpen lost it for him uh, that first game against uh, the Seattle Mariners. Uh, but, yeah, I definitely like uh, the Giants here uh, to kind of continue uh, on their winning with their winning streak. You know, they swept the Colorado Rockies, and I look for that to continue uh, against the Cincinnati Reds team that's only averaging three runs per game on the road, seven overall, but – only three runs per game on the road. And then you also have to look at familiarity. They played their Cardinals and they played the Pirates. You know, they're in the division. So maybe they're a little uh, they're a little out of place here out west. And early in the season, first week of the season, you always have an overreaction like, oh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati. And then you remember it's Cincinnati. So, uh, yeah, I definitely feel more comfortable going with the Giants here. Well, also, when Cincinnati plays at home, that's very much a hitter-friendly park as opposed to, you know, out in San Francisco, which is a bit of a graveyard and definitely more of a pitcher-friendly park. So you're taking a side in this one, uh, and you kind of touched on the total a little bit. Do you have any leanings on a total? If, if I if I did, it, it would have to be the under. Uh, it's at seven and a half, and you know, I'm some I'm someone that would really prefer to get like a number like eight, something like that, where, you know, five, three will get you the push uh, just in case they are able to uh, put up some runs. I don't think that this Cincinnati team is going to be quiet the entire uh, series, especially uh, since that'll be game two. Maybe the, you'll see you'll see what happens tonight and it'll kind of give you an indication of what could possibly happen tomorrow, depending on if they have to go into the bullpen earlier or, or, or situations like that. But right now, if I had to take a choice, I I would definitely go with the under. Uh, both these pitchers seem to be uh, quality start guys, so you look for them to go at least uh, six or seven innings. Yeah, and then one little other tidbit. Uh, I know the re revenge factor. A lot of people love playing that in basketball and sometimes football. Uh, in baseball here, Kevin Gosman actually played for the Reds in 2019. They non-tendered him, and since then he's been lights out. He's been striking out a ton of guys for the Giants. So we'll see if he you know, really wants to turn on against his old squad and do well, which sometimes you want to do well and sometimes you don't. So take what you will, but he's facing his old club. So revenge factor there that's gonna do it for our baseball talk here on picks and parlays great stuff from kurt alexander as always kurt thanks for joining us